Hello again. There was a time when Ireland represented Celtic culture. Traditions and customs which had been forgotten in the rest of Europe were preserved there, as was a version of the language which had once been spoken over the whole of the continent. Today, the country is doing its best to dismantle this ancient heritage and throw away with both hands all the things which once made Ireland such a special place. I don't suppose that people like Yeats or Raymond de Valera would even recognise the country these days. This is because Ireland is determined to be an integral part of modern Europe and that means abandoning all the old ways and embracing instead a variety of modern ideas such as homosexuality, abortion and of course mass immigration. However did the nation get by without such things in the past? It defies belief. Of course, it helps that their Prime Minister is an Indian homosexual and might therefore be said to have skin in the game, as the saying goes. In 2018, Leo Varadkar helped to introduce abortion to a country which had previously set its face like flint against such practices and he has also been a strong advocate of homosexual marriages. And of course, immigration. In 2021, Miss Ireland was Pamela Uber, who may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. A fine Irish lass indeed. The fastest Irishman of all times is supposedly Israel Olatunda, who is of African heritage. Yes, Ireland is certainly changing. The question is, of course, whether all these changes are for the better and whether everybody in the country welcomes them. Traditionally, Ireland was a conservative and deeply religious nation where Catholicism was a very powerful and ever-present force. That is now changing and there are getting on for 100,000 Muslims in the country with 60 mosques to cater for them. The aim is to break up the homogenous nature of Irish society and ensure that there is a steady year-on-year -year increase in the number of Africans and Asians living in the country. It would be interesting to know the rationale behind this move because it is certainly not in response to a clamour from the public. The decision seems to have been taken either outside the country or by elements in the government who think that they know what is best for the people. It has been suggested that Leo um, Varadka is similar in some ways to Britain's Rishi Sunak that is to say, somebody whose identity and loyalties may not be fully aligned to the country of which he is Prime Minister. It is certainly noticeable that there appears to be nothing but enthusiasm for mass immigration on the part of both men. Of course, just as in Britain, immigration is not proving to be an altogether beneficial process in Ireland, either in the Republic or in Northern Ireland. I tried the experiment of simply typing the words Ireland and murder into Google just to see what would come up. It will hardly surprise viewers to learn that what came up was a bunch of foreigners. Four days ago, the Irish Examiner reported that two men had been charged with the murder of Somali bull Mohammed Ilyas. The men charged were Viral Doroscam and Otniel Ricardo Krajan. I may be mistaken, but I suspect that their ancestry does not lie in the Emerald Isle. Then we learned that six days ago a Lithuanian called Imra Arakas was extradited from Ireland in connection with the murder of Diamantas Bagovicius. The Irish examiner also tells us that a week ago a Brazilian called Mila Pacheco was charged with the murder of another Brazilian called Bruna Fonseca in Cork. Gosh, it seems that Ireland is getting just like this country these days. Just why those in charge of Ireland should have set out to alter irrevocably the nature of the country in this way is something I do not really feel competent to comment upon. What is without doubt is that somebody looked at the country and saw how they were maintaining a marvellous society and culture and then set out deliberately to destroy it which I view personally as a crime. But hey, maybe the Irish are happy about it. 
in the description to this video, I give links to the uh, news stories which I mentioned 